misfits, but it turns out it was me. Well, it started when in first grade, maybe it was kindergarten, and I read a book about still leopards and realized they were endangered. One morning, I said, Mom, I have to help these, these animals. And she said, well, why don't we throw a party for them? And we could find an organization to give money to and try and see how much money we can raise. Well, I want to do a party again for an animal. I was on a river that goes out to the ocean. I was near the ocean, the beach, and I saw salmon spawning. I loved being able to see them laying their eggs and they would sometimes flop over and you could see their stomach and it's really cool. They go down to the ocean, they come back and they're going upstream and they're at the end of their life and they're spawning. And why do people think it's okay to just have pesticides flowing by them and maybe have them die? Like, and the eggs not hatch and that just doesn't seem fair. Like, they did all that work, and now it just ends like that. Put, or pin the eggs in the red, which is like the place where they dig their, um, basically like nests. We also painted sal salmon ornaments. You could start just trying to host tiny parties, maybe not as big as mine, but maybe having one game and maybe it lasts for a half hour. And maybe if you do it each year, you could go up in the activities and like say, well, maybe if you have enough, can you give me $5 and $10 and up and up. And I remember, I think for the Snow Leopard party, I got like almost $200. Kids can't just depend on the grown-ups to do everything. Like, some grown-ups do help, but at the same time, some are just like, it's too big of a problem. Just let the government or something care for it. And you can't do that. You have to push the government to do that. You can't just depend on, like, all the grown-ups to do all the work. You have to step up and make a difference.